we've noticed God uses at least five things to grow our faith. And we said these catalysts are like sales. We raise the sales, we participate in our growth by applying these five faith catalysts. But God does the growing. He sends the wind. When we don't raise the sails, it's hard to harness the wind's power. When we aren't leveraging these five faith catalysts, we often aren't ready to grow when God is trying to get our attention. So we said in video two that God uses practical teaching, providential relationships, and private habits to grow us. And in this session, I'll share with you the final two catalysts. The fourth one is what we call personal ministry. A big catalyst for our growth is when we get off the sidelines, out of our seat, and get in the game. <laughs> we hear people share their stories. They'll often talk about finally deciding to serve regularly at church or go on a mission trip and how that experience drew them so much closer to God. That's because God didn't create us to be consumers. He created us to be contributors. Jesus didn't said he didn't come to be served, but to serve and to give his life away for us. So we can't follow Jesus authentically without serving others selflessly. That's the way of our leader. So when you serve, you take a step to do what you can do, and then you quickly realize that you have to put your trust in God to do what you know you can't do. And that's when you experience your faith and his faithfulness intersecting. That's when he becomes personal to you. Personal ministry always sparks spiritual growth because we are created to serve others. Now, the fifth and final faith catalyst is what we call pivotal circumstances. This is the only one of the five that we can't choose on our own. Sometimes pivotal circumstances are good experiences. God uses the birth of a child or a brand new job or going to college or getting married to ignite our faith. But sometimes pivotal circumstances are difficult trying times. They're the experiences that feel like they're going to break our faith. But God often uses those to make our faith. It's difficult circumstances that move us from just reciting prayers, because we know we should pray, to praying some real, genuine, gut-wrenching, I'm connecting with God kind of prayers. Now, this is so hard to do when your world's being rocked, but you know how a person is able to do this? A person's faith grows through pivotal circumstances when they're exposing themselves to practical teaching that reminds them there is a God, and He loves us, and He's always with us. And a person's faith grows when they lean to these providential relationships with people who are there to encourage them and strengthen them person's faith grows when they develop the habit of giving God the first few minutes of their day and the first few dollars of their paycheck, and they are confident in God's presence and peace and provision. A person's faith gets big through these circumstances when they don't turn all their attention inward, but they're involved in personal ministry serving someone else even as they struggle. Our commitment to the other four catalysts really begins to pay off when pivotal circumstances come because they all remind us that no matter how bad things are or how absent God seems, there is a God and he is personal. He's your heavenly father. And he's always with you. So if you're struggling with a pivotal circumstance today, would you just tell God, I need to see you. I just need to know you're here because I want to come out of this with big faith. I don't want to walk away. I want to lean in and I know you in a way that I never had before. The best news to me is that I can choose to put the first four catalysts into my life, and I want you to know we've built our entire spiritual growth strategy here at Journey around these things. If you will invite, serve, give, and connect, you'll automatically begin to practice these things, and God will use them to grow your faith. And that's our greatest hope for you, that you'll have big faith and big trust in God. So if you want to learn more about these, check out our series, Five Things God Uses to Grow Your Faith, on our YouTube page. And if you want to help implementing some of these faith catalysts in your own life, please reach out. We would love to help.